Hello and welcome. So we have another video here. If this is your first time, I am the Ambitious Artist and we are doing an art tour today of my art studio. So let's get this started with the intro, go. Okay, now that's over with, let's get this started. teaser I'm gonna show you around here because this studio in my opinion is the best studio that I've ever had set up you should have seen my old studio it was terrible it was just an air hockey table big air hockey table that had my easel set up on it and a whole bunch of paint scattered around and a few little lights and now this this is pretty much as best as I feel like it gets because it's my little getaway from everything else that I want to show you guys and maybe I can inspire you for some good ideas how you can set up your studio. Let's get this started. Okay, well this is my studio so I feel like that the best place to get started first of all is where all the best action happens which is over here on the art easel. I'll just give you a quick little brief up on that there, okay? Alright, so first of all this is my nice fancy little chair here. The best part of this is the awesome tail right here. It's my favorite part. It's a nice little tail. I'm obsessed with animals and all that fun stuff and this nice little fluffy pillow. I'm not into furries or anything, but you know, just cute little fluffy things. Okay, so let's move on to the next fun stuff here. Now, if you see my last video, you've seen that I put together these awesome water dishes here, one for dark and one for light colors there. That was really fun. Now this is a 100% wood desk that I work on that was given to me by a good friend of mine. Now in each drawer here, I have a whole bunch of paint. This top drawer is the main colors that I use and the better quality paints here, which I really, really like. And in these two drawers, I have a little bit more of the cheaper paints, a lot of the dollar store paints or, you know, cheap Opus or Michaels paints that I, that I tend to use for under layer paintings and not for the top coats. And then also under here as well is some more paint too. <laughs> I have a, I have a paint problem. I collect a lot of paints and I really, really enjoy it all. Now right over there, we got the cute little cat bed. And yes, the cats sometimes sleep in there, which is great. And under here, we have a nice little cat hiding spot as well as my sub because I love to crank up my music. Now throughout this video, I don't know exactly what everyone would love to see. Now leave in the comments down below on some things that you want me to go into more depth about and explain maybe a little bit more about. I'd love to do that. I just don't want this video to run way too long if I were to show you all the knickknacks and everything because I know there's some really, really cool stuff that I have in here that I'd love to show to you everyone. Anyways, let's get this going. Now there's one cool thing that I really want to show you before we move on to the little office areas there, okay? So this right up over here. Now this awesome little spot right here behind the art easel, just click a little button there and it turns all the lights on and off. It works out great for me because I don't want to be plugging a whole bunch of things in all the time. Just boom, click, and it's good to go and done. So let's move on to this little office area here and I'll show you also these little... Sh ah, I almost forgot the best part. Okay, well, like I said, if you've seen my last video, you've probably seen a few of this kind of stuff. But this here is my whole incense hollow book. What I have in here is all of my incense. I got tons of incense. 
I already have one sitting there that I'm going to light, so yes. So let's get this going and light this incense and oh, this smells going to be incredible and it totally sets the mood of the whole atmosphere. If you guys don't burn incense when you guys are doing art, I don't know, I feel like that you may be missing out. But I can understand if some people are sensitive to the smell and all that fun stuff. Well, not so fun stuff, but anyways, I can't live without it. <laughs> all right, let's burn it. Here is some of my favorite paintings going on and then some of the biggest paintings that I have done and I really really enjoyed doing these. It was way before I started YouTube. I have had them up for sale in a few shows that I have done and the offers that I had on them in all honesty I just felt like I couldn't part with them just because they were meaning so much to me and I kind of grew a little attached to them. So I may do prints in the future. I don't know. I may be changing up a few things here because prints are kind of cool and I'd love to have everyone enjoy my artwork as much as I do because giving away some of these originals and selling them would be pretty upset I'd say because you know the walls would be bare and boring. I don't know who looks bare and boring. Anyways, show you a quick little thing here. Now if I just move this out of the way here, this is just my work computer there. Now what we have going on here, this is really, really awesome wood burning kit. And I'll love to do a video of me wood burning one day here. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd be interested in that. And I have these here, which is all my markers. And we've got Prisman color markers here. I'm not into Copics yet. I don't do too much marker stuff, so we'll see. And then this is all of my permanent markers and also my fabric markers because I like to sometimes make t-shirt stuff. Now this is just a huge travel case of a whole bunch of pencil crayons and paints and everything, which is very nice and useful. I don't use it as much as I should. Now this area here on my shelves are kind of just the area where I put things that mean a lot to me. Like I have obviously my incense, and nice roses that I have from people. And I have my nice little crystal collection there, which I'm kind of into. And this cool ass staff. Now what we have going on in here are some more hollow books that I have. I really like my hollow books. And in here, this is the biggest one. I have all my paintbrushes. In each book are different sizes and different styles of paintbrushes that I like to collect and slash to use. But I don't know if you guys noticed in some of my paintings, I kind of stick to the same paintbrush through the whole painting for the most part. I mean, if it's big, big area that I'm filling, then I tend to use a bigger paintbrush and fill it all up quickly and then go into my small paintbrush, which I kind of end up painting most of the piece with. I don't change up my paintbrush that much just because I get really into that one paintbrush. I should start working on that a little bit more. Maybe in the future, we will see. Oh, a quick little thing. Now this here is a board that I use to bounce that light off, which is a studio light. You soften up the light there when I'm filming. It really, really works really good. Now we just got a few more things to cover in this tour. If you are still interested, I'm gonna show you where I do all my editing, as well as gonna be start doing some voiceovers in my upcoming videos here, and maybe some tutorial videos that I'm gonna be doing. And then we're gonna be covering this nice shelf here, which has all of my Stitch stuff. I'm obsessed with Stitch. I'm so obsessed with Stitch that I even have a Stitch tattoo. Let's see if we can focus on that. Boom, there we go. We gotta get some touch-ups done on it and redo it up. If anyone's interested in seeing all my tattoos, I have a lot of really good tattoos going on here that explain me and my personality. And who knows, maybe you guys might be interested. I don't know. 
Anyways, let's get this carried on with, and I'm gonna show you my little setup that I have here. It's quick and easy, nothing much. Let's go. Now, I don't know what you wanna see here exactly, or even if you guys are interested. What I have here is my blue snowball recording mic. It makes a crystal clear sound for my voiceovers. And this is my handy dandy and works really good. ThinkPad, and I actually purchased it when I first started doing my YouTube videos here just because my other computer did not handle all the editing and everything. Some of the really nice features that I do have here is I have all this foam board going on as well as I have this little top cork board too and it's all surrounded like this. And so like a little booth and a little box. The reason why I have all this foam board attached up here is because it works really good to make it soundproof and make my voice a lot more crystal clear when I'm doing my voiceovers and everything. So that's gonna be nice. A few little features that I feel like that kind of throws all this together and I personally really like are these. Now these here I have displayed in here. Both of these are always a reminder to stay ambitious with my art because these are the two galleries that I got to display my art in. One of them which I held at a nice little venue area and this one I was sponsored to go to and it was for mental health and I was very very happy with. Now my favorite show out of both of those was the one that I did which was called In My Head because the thing is that all those proceeds pretty much went to a non-profit organization for mental health which I'm a huge, huge supporter in because mental health affects so many people in the world and I think that is just frowned upon of how people discriminate others against it. But anyways, you know, everyone, I understand that they all have their own opinions but on my channel and in my community, I want to support people that have mental health issues and just show them that they have a way out with doing art and just being creative and trying to express all your emotions on there. Because the thing is that my artwork is therapeutic to me and it helps me feel a lot better when I put all my depressed and sad feelings on this art. For me, it's like pretty much talking to a therapist but except no talking, just using my brush. Let's move on with this area here, which is pretty much just a little junk pile area with all my film stuff and fun, but I'm sure you guys might want to see it. I'll leave off the best part out there, which is all my stitch stuff. Okay, well, boom. What we have here is a huge light that I use. It's a just big light box that I like to use for all my film stuff. And I have all my stitch stuff up here. And we'll get started on this shelf right here. Voila! Now what we have going on in here are some Warhammer characters. Now I don't know if anyone knows these guys. These are basically just miniatures that you get to create and paint and design and build. And it's pretty fun and it's a RPG role playing game. And I like to think that I was into it at one time. Just like most people's Favorite YouTube artist, Jazza. Jazza was huge into Warhammer. I mean, he's got big Warhammer painting on his backboard there. And I have some sketchbooks, and this here is actually full of pencil crayons. And this pencil case means a lot to me. That pencil case was given to me by one of my foster kids there. And she was awesome, it was great. And we got some more hollow books there. This is a hollow book, The Lord of the Rings. Got the tattoo book. And we have this awesome little contraption here. It's a tiny little magnifying glass. Now moving on here quick, there's not much. You got a little bit of stitch stuff back there. This is empty. And we have some clocks and some picture frames. The reason why I have these clocks here is that I want to incorporate some clocks in my paintings. Now these here are two nice dragon wings that I'm working on actually. And I'm hoping to maybe work on it in the future. Maybe, who knows, an upcoming video. Apparently there's a lot of upcoming videos here. Okay, moving down here, basically we have a whole bunch of ugly used paint palettes. Yep, ugly used paint palettes and I just have to wash them and I haven't got around to them and I think it's going to be entertaining to film washing these and peeling all the nice acrylic paint off because you know acrylic paint is plastic and it peels off of just about anything except clothes. This here what we have though this is special. Now what we have in this bag here is very special. It may be my upcoming video that I'm probably going to be doing next. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> Anyways, 
This is a little cat stuffed animal. A little picture frame. And I have here a cross with two wings. Now both of these wings here are wood, just like the cross. And I started wood burning on them. That's my wood burning that I'm doing right there. And it's some wood burning wings there. Um, and when I make this video here, I will be explaining the history of the cat and why I'm making all this and what's going on. And now it's not just a cat that I knew before and that died. There's a lot more to that story and I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing it uh, for the most part. Anyways, that's going to be hopefully the next video that will be happening here. So look forward to it, okay? Thank you. Sorry to get all depressed and snappy there, but you know. People have feelings, right? <laughs> what we have here is just some of my film stuff there. And then below here, some more film stuff. And this. Yeah, who doesn't like the sound of that, right? Now we have a whole bunch of spray paint here. Why do I have a whole bunch of spray paint, you might be asking yourself. Well, I used to do spray paint art, not graffiti. No, 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 no. Well, maybe a little bit of graffiti, who knows, right? So, no. I was actually getting into one point, a whole bunch of spray paint art, you know, like the, you know, like the street artists do, and they're all, and like, doing it all quick and making cool art. Yeah, that didn't go over well, but, I mean, what counts the most is that I tried it, and, you know, I really pursued it, and for a little bit there, I invested a lot of money into all of this spray paint, just to sit there. <laughs> but... You know, just like I invest a whole bunch of time and money in my YouTube. So yeah, anyways, I definitely should have thought that out a little bit more before investing a whole bunch of money in a whole bunch of spray paint that I hardly use anymore. But maybe in the future, I'll just do huge, huge painting on a nice, huge canvas that I'll probably do a good haul from Michaels. Let's get carried on here. We're just going to finish it off and I hope you're enjoying it. Now there's one little guy in here that is not stitched and I will show you him. This little guy is kind of actually ugly, some people would say. Now this here is my little stuffed animal cat that pretty much looks like a freaking zombie or like some damn voodoo doll. But what can I say, it's the one thing that I still have from when I was a child. And I got given it when I was a little, little infant baby. Now for those people that do not know, I was born a twin and very, very premature. And I was given this stuffed animal here when I was still in the hospital from my parents. And I still have it and it's about 30 years old now. So yes, let's wrap this video up and get out with it. one of the best parts, isn't it? I told you, look at that. Wow. I have, yeah, a lot of Stitch stuffed animals. Like I said, I love Stitch. Maybe a little too much. Just kidding. So I'm gonna finish this video off here just by saying thank you so much for joining my channel and subscribing. Well, I mean, that's if you've already subscribed and joined. If not, please subscribe and click the like button if you did like this tour and I will be coming up with another video very shortly here please leave it in the comments down below if you want me to go in more depth with everything that I have going on in here hey and don't forget to stay ambitious okay see you later